In this example, we have a green logo on the jersey that was erased when we removed the green screen. You can see the original green screen image, and you can see the green logo here. That's very simple to correct in Easy Green Screen 5. We'll go into the Keep or Remove Areas menu. From here, you'll select either the polygon lasso or the lasso. I prefer the polygon lasso myself. Then you just select around the area that you want to keep and press Add to Foreground, No Spill Correction. That instantly brings the original pixels back into the foreground with no spill correction. So you can see we've got our green logo back. In addition to that, you can do quite a bit more inside of this menu. This top area, this is your selection tools used to make selections in your images. And the bottom area is the actions you can apply. You can do what we just did there. You can also add an area to the foreground but keep spill correction. You can add an area to the background to erase it. And you can also remove the spill correction in that area. Fixing the yellow clothing color shift is simple and easy green screen 5. This is a single mask extraction here. I'm going into the spill correction menu. From here, the adjustment called spill color range warms. You can either turn that down or you can click the button called preserve yellow clothing color. If I click this button, it just turns this value down to 45 and you can fine tune that as well. So we can see now the yellow color is back and if we view the original you can see that it's the exact same color in the jersey. I've now extracted the same image using a dual mask extraction and with dual mask you usually do not need to make any adjustments at all for yellow clothing with the spill correction. This was using the default settings and I'll show you in the spill correction here with dual mask you now have independent control of the spill color range warms for both the hair region and the non-hair region. So before extraction I just did that loose lasso around the hair. So now that hair region is using a spill color range warms value of 75. The rest of the image is using a value of 45 and by doing this you get optimal spill correction for the entire image and almost never need to make any adjustments. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a single mask extraction so we don't shift colors in this yellow jersey here. I'm just going to run this single mask extraction and watch the color of this jersey. It's not going to shift when this is extracted. And if we look at it against the solid color, you see there's no green spill. What I have done is in the preferences, you can now set up your spill color range preferences for single mask and dual mask. And for the spill color range warms, I've set that to 55. You'll figure out the value for your set of images that works best. You can enter that value, save your preferences, and then Easy Green Screen will run with that value when you start it up. In this image we can see some dark spots on the screen that weren't quite removed. You can see those are partially transparent and those are due to the original image having a lot of color variation with these dark spots on the screen. In Easy Green Screen 5 there is an extended background removal mode that's more aggressive when it does the screen removal. I'll view the mask here so it's easier to see. When I check that on you can see that this is much more aggressive to remove those areas now against transparency or against color it looks really good now this is not going to fix every problem area on your screen but it does a good job to correct quite a few different issues another new feature we have for easy green screen 5 is the edge hair coloring this is for dual mask extractions only and what this is meant to do is optimize the brightness and color of the stray strands of hair in the very edge of the hairline. So this image you can see there is a slight glowing appearance to the edge of the hair. However, when we look at it on a brighter background, it looks perfect. The reason for that is the original green screen was very bright and it illuminated these hairs so they look too bright against a darker background. 
So if we go back to our background here, I'll just show you. I can turn the brightness value down for the edge of the hair and that instantly blends it perfectly. You also have adjustments for color as well. And you can also brighten the hair if you need to brighten, for example, blonde hair against a light background it might be too dark and you might have to brighten the edge of the hair. Another new feature in Easy Green Screen 5 is inside your composition menu. You can now make adjustments to the lighting for the background and the foreground and those adjustments are separate of each other. So I'll first show you that we can go into our background lighting. Let's say we wanted to brighten up this background a little bit. This adjustment is just affecting the background. And so now we can go into the foreground and I'll show you in the foreground lighting. Let's say I wanted to darken that up, maybe shift the white balance a little bit and turn down the saturation just to make it look like it blends into a nighttime image a little bit better. So basically what we've done is we've embedded the image balancer filter directly into Easy Green Screen 5. Another new feature to Easy Green Screen 5 is the screen color check. This just gives you a quick analysis of the color and lighting of your screen. The top section shows you the average color values for your screen. It also shows you the optimal color values for the color profile that you are using. The middle section shows you where the hue of your screen falls in the color spectrum and you can also see if that is within the optimal range for green screen or blue screen for the color profile that you are using. The bottom section will show you any um, warnings or cautions for your screen color or lighting and it will let you know any possible extraction issues that that could cause. Now in Easy Green Screen 5, you have control of the output layers and the output scaling of the image. So to start, you've got four choices for the output layers. You can export all of Easy Green Screen's non-destructive layer set into Photoshop. You can choose to export a single layer with transparency. That's just your foreground with transparency. You can export a single layer image with foreground and background. So if you have a background in your image, it's going to export a flattened image with just one layer with those combined. And you can export a dual layer, foreground and background. And that's going to give you the foreground and the background each on their own layer. And if you don't have a background, either of these last two options are going to export your foreground with transparency. Next, in the composition menu under the positioning, you can select your final scaling. When you're in Easy Green Screen, um, making adjustments to your composition, that's all done non-destructively. When you export into Photoshop, you have the choice of scaling your foreground or your background. If you scale your foreground, the final dimensions are going to be the exact dimensions of the background image. If you scale the background, then it's going to keep the foreground in its original dimensions, the exact size that it was originally, and it's going to scale that background to match your foreground. And also, under the preferences, you can set the default values for your layer output and your scaling as well. The last improvement I want to discuss with Easy Green Screen 5 is the zooming and panning. When you go into the zoom and pan menu, Easy Green Screen 5 now works the same with all versions of Photoshop with both Windows and Mac. To zoom, you use your keyboard control shortcuts. That's Control plus and Control minus on Windows. That's to zoom in and zoom out. And for Mac, it's Command plus and Command minus. And to pan, once you're zoomed in, you'll have the hand tool, or the pan tool that is, and you can grab the image and just drag to pan. Also, zooming and panning is enabled by default in the Keep or Remove Areas screen. 
and you use your keyboard shortcuts the same way. To pan, you'll grab the pan tool up in your selection tool area and you can pan. Uh, zooming and panning is very useful when you're in the keep and remove areas. So we have that enabled for this menu as well. And that covers all of the new features in Easy Green Screen 5. If you're interested at all in this program, please be sure to visit our website. That is easygreenscreen.com.